Exercise is important, but sometimes you have to light a fire to get people motivated. And that is exactly what is happening in Southern California. CBS News correspondent Sandra Hughes explains. They've got hot moves called dragonfly and flirt, but this isn't a luau, it's fire dancing aerobics. Blending Polynesian dance with martial arts, these three siblings, Hannah, Kamala, and Lester, have made it a business, and it's growing. Yeah! Students first begin learning to spin in a studio with tools called staff, boy, and a good old hula hoop. Six weeks later, it moves to the sand. When you first hear about it, it sounds a little dangerous. Well, fire safety is that is our main concern. In our classes, we don't get very many accidents at all. Um, I would like to say none, but there are those, always those occasional burns. It's estimated there are several thousand enthusiasts in Southern California. It's very different from the gym because it allows you to be in the moment. There's no texting, no cell phones. The workout tones your core and upper body. Are you guys feeling that in your shoulders yet? It's not as easy as it looks. In the beginning when you start, there'll be lots of like, ouch, 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 you know, in class because you're like hitting yourself. Yeah. Is it a good workout? It is. Your arm, my arms were definitely burning. After 12 classes, students light up. Highly flammable liquid. These are the things I tell my children never to do. The flames are both terrifying and exhilarating. And the unexpected, the roar of the flames. Oh my gosh, that noise! <laughs> that is incredible. <sighs> this is about the coolest thing I've ever done. Something I think that we really need to do is just escape and step outside of our lives and play. Kind of, I like the sensual movement. It was very smooth. When you add the fire element into it, it's kind of sexy. <laughs> and with these folks playing with fire, we'll bring on the burn. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.